Hello, it's Phil Thatch, and I'm here once again at Frost Stadium for a little bit of University of Tennessee at Chattanooga softball action. And this time they're playing against their Southern Conference rivals, Furman. Uh, last time I did photography here, I brought my Canon R6 and 70 to 200 and 100 to 500. And this time to change it up, I'm breaking out my Nikon D500, a camera I haven't used in over a year. It used to be my main camera. I've had it since 2016 and I'll be using the 70 to 200 f 2.8 g vr2 that i've had even longer than 2016 and i also have my 200 to 500 and one thing i can tell you so far the d500 and the 200 to 500 and the d500 and the 70 to 200 is much heavier than the canon r6 and the 100 to 500 or the canon r6 and the 70 to 200 much much heavier so that is definitely going to be different it's another sunny day here at Frost Stadium, so I should have plenty of light to have a nice, fast shutter speed, although I will have to be mindful of what direction the shadows are in to try to get the best exposure. I shot most of the game with the 70 to 200. All right, here we are in Lightroom, and this young lady is the UTC trainer, and she's throwing out the first pitch. This is a 70 millimeter shot, 160 400th of a second. I stayed at f2.8 for the entire game, or the whole time I was using the 70 to 200, and it was kind of cloudy, and then full sun, and then cloudy, and then full sun. So I turned on automatic ISO, and on this one, I landed at 180. The, the clouds were just coming in and out too fast to do it manually. Here is the first baseman catching the ball. The uh, runner is definitely out. She's not even in the frame yet. And here's the pitcher, 102 millimeter shot. And here we are, I'm, I'm sitting in the front row of the stands and with the 70 to 200, I could photograph batters at 70 millimeters. So that is 105 millimeters full frame equivalent. Uh, you multiply the 70 times 1.5 to get that number. And when I used my Canon gear, I did 100 to 500. I used my 100 to 500 lens. So 100 or 105, both pretty good good focal length to photograph the batter at Frost Stadium. And with the 70 to 200, I could see uh, all the same seat made this shot here. Unfortunately, number two is out there at first base. Here's another 70 millimeter batter shot and 70 millimeters at first base. Really, I could probably zoom that some, but it doesn't look like it was too necessary. And look way back here in the outfield, that's my buddy Ray Soldano, and he is photographing batters from the outfield with his 200 to 500, which is something I I'll be doing pretty soon. Here's a pitcher shot, 135 millimeters from over behind the third base line dugout. Pretty cool shot. And uh, look, there's a 200 millimeter shot of one of the UTC players catching a ball and getting somebody out way in the outfield. And this is probably my favorite pitcher shot. Really, really super sharp on her eyes. Uh, 122 millimeter shot of the UTC pitcher about to sling one in there. And there is UTC's first baseman catching one and getting somebody out. This shot is a 170 millimeter shot of a batter and I cropped it kind of panoramic looking because I thought the shot just looked neat that way. I don't like that this is the top of the dugout right here. I wish I had stood up just a little taller to get that out of the shot, but otherwise I really like this batting shot with the C, the Chattanooga C on the softball as it is flying on out of there. That's number one. And now number one is over on first base. She did get a hit with that and she's uh, fist bumping and high-fiving the first base coach. I like this shot. I scooted over just a little bit from where I was before photographing batters. Let's see what the focal length is. Another 70 millimeter batter shot. And I like this shot, especially Especially when there's a runner on third base but I found out that I really would have liked this shot if I had scooted over one or two chairs to the right because then I can actually see the runner on third base but I can still see the umpire back here and the catcher and the batter and the third baseman as she is hitting that ball number 16 is and she has brought number one in she's brought her in for a run scored for UTC so that's pretty cool and here is I think this is the third baseman and this is the shortstop number two who is catching this ball and that's something I have trouble with with softball photography a lot of times one player or an umpire or a coach or somebody will get in the way of the player I'm trying to photograph for a little while I went out in the outfield and put the 200 to 500 on and here is a 420 millimeter shot of this batter as she's hitting the ball and 
And here is a 500 millimeter shot of the same batter hitting the ball. It, it, I was had a little bit of trouble finding the exact place to stand because I have got, I think this is the second baseman who occasionally got into my shot, including this young lady went to bunt. And when you bunt, a lot of times the infield will rush in because bunts don't go that far. And when the pitch was thrown, this girl was not in my shot, but I caught the ball almost perfectly on the bat. But the second baseman, by the time I got the shot, was in my shot. So I needed to find another location to stand. Here is another batting shot. This one I, I thought looked good, uh, kind of cropped into a 16 by 9 situation. Oh, let me show you one other thing. I love the softball shaped dust cloud coming off of her bat in that shot. And here is another batter and another batter with the 200 to 500 from the outfield. Slowed my shutter speed down to 1 hundredths because I was shooting at 5.6 instead of 2.8. And here is a sequence. I scooted over just a little bit to where I could see Furman's pitcher. And as you can see, she's about ready to pitch. And here is Chattanooga's batter. And she starts her wind up and keeps on going. And now she's released it. And the ball is coming towards the batter. And it's coming towards the batter and it's coming towards the batter and she is hitting that thing and there it goes then I put the 70 to 200 on and shot the rest of the game with it. UTC is back on defense and you can see first baseman number one is catching this ball and she's going to get that Furman runner out. And here is another batting photograph of a Chattanooga player and another one and another one. And now here is a Furman player. Looks like she's going to be safe. The ball has not made it to our first baseman and the Furman player has made it to first base. And here are, looks like we are back on offense and looks like number 99 is coming in to score and another player is making it to third base and in this shot I told you earlier I had a shot where I was scooted over to the left from here a little bit and you couldn't see the runner on third base but I figured that out and scooted over a little bit to the right and now on this shot I can see the catcher and the batter and I can see uh, that's UTC's coach right there this is an umpire and we have a runner on third base and here is another batter with a runner on third base looks like she's walloped that thing and looks like number two is coming coming in to score and another runner is coming to third base. It's a pretty fun place to, to shoot from right there in that seat. And we've got another pitcher in the game now and she's throwing that ball. And uh oh, looks like the Furman girls are celebrating. They must have done something good. They, they were a fun bunch. The Furman girls were uh, really entertaining. They had all sorts of cheers and chants that they did. And oh no, looks like this is a home run. I really like the way this shot turned out. I hate it that the other team got a home run against Chattanooga, but here's number 14, the outfielder. She's jumped up really high, but she's not going to catch that thing because it is way over the fence. And I really like the way I happen to be able to capture the Chattanooga mocks which is short for Mockingbirds. Uh, that's our logo there on the outfield fence. So there is a picture that tells a story. Now this is with the 70 to 200 2.8, and then that's a 200 millimeter shot. And of course it's on a crop sensor D500, so that's 300 millimeters full frame equivalent. Oh my, the, here is the home run hitter celebrating with her teammate. They were fun. And this, uh, on the back of their helmets, on the back of their batting helmets, it says F you all the time. And that you might think that means something that wouldn't be on a college student's helmet, but that's Furman University all the time is what that means. But it, I thought it was fun that that was written on there. And they were having just a really nice time after that young lady hit the home run. And I thought the flag in the outfield looked pretty cool. And there, you know, it wasn't a really super cloudy day, but at that particular moment, there were a lot of clouds behind the flag and this 200 millimeter shot looked pretty good. Here is one of the Furman brothers sliding into third base. I don't remember if she was out or safe on that one and here is a Chattanooga batter hitting the ball and looks like she is going to be safe here you have the ball in the first baseman's glove but her foot is not on the bag and the Chattanooga runner's foot is on the bag so she is safe at first base and it says Mox and it got the Chattanooga C there on the fence I like the way that turned out um, the only thing I don't like about this shot is I wish her foot wasn't cut off this is a 195 millimeter shot I took this from behind the third base dugout and it's all the way across the field at first base and there she is slapping high five with the first base coach after she's made it to first base safe here's another batter another one that i that i made into a uh, panorama looking shot i call anything a panorama when it's a wider shot than 16 by 9 i think this one's 16 by 7 i kind of like 
that shot. And look, this is, uh, the D500 did really good on autofocus. I was really pleased uh, working with it, but on this particular shot, number two is coming in and she's going to kind of slide sideways and touch home plate with her left hand. And the next shot, when she got down on the ground, the camera lost focus, but it doesn't have any problems with focus on this shot. I think if I had been using my much newer technology, Canon R6, it probably would have stayed in focus for the entire slide maybe not who knows I, I can't really say because I haven't photographed that exact slide with both cameras at the same time so I can't say but anyway this shot came out really nice 122 millimeter shot at 1 5,000 and here's another batter shot that I've kind of done in a panorama sort of a look I really like the look of that shot especially you know to present my pictures on YouTube I like to present them wide instead of square I don't always do that for example here's one that's more square or or a four by five aspect ratio and uh, there you can see that C. I like to see the C on the ball. I'm back up to 1 6400th. I, I was adjusting my shutter speed when the clouds came in and out, but I still left the camera on auto ISO to uh, try to bag the exposure as best I could. And that is the last one. Well, we had a nice time here at Frost Stadium, but now it's time to go. So thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like the content. And as always, we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye from Frost Stadium, Chattanooga, Tennessee.